Hi everybody, welcome back to another video and welcome if you're new. And if you're new, I would love it if you would stick around here and subscribe. So for today's video, I am actually doing my 2020 goals and I will have some like reading channel related goals and then some just like more general life goals, I guess. So yeah, that's how I'll kind of split it up. And in each category, I do have some like I try to make my goals as like specific and like attainable as I can, but some of them are just like general things that I want to like improve at and those aren't as specific. So with that being said, let's get into my 2020 goals. So starting out with my reading and channel goals, my first like reading goal is to read 100 books. Last year in 2019, I read 140 books. So that's like a ton. And I don't know if I'll ever read that many again in a year, but I would love it if I could get to 100 again. And so far, I'm actually on track with that. I'm a few books ahead of schedule. So yeah, that's really exciting. And the next two are related to like my different um, platforms, I guess. So I know it's not all about numbers and I love doing like YouTube stuff, regardless of how many subscribers I have, but I do have some like subscriber goals. So when I am filming this, I have like 370 something, I think. So by the end of the year, I would love it if I could get to a thousand subscribers, but I don't know like if that's really unrealistic or not, but I would love, I would love it if I could get to a thousand subscribers, but we'll see. <laughs> and for Twitter, I currently, I think I'm almost to 1500. So I'd love it if I could get to 2,500 followers on Twitter, but that's also probably a little bit unrealistic. So I'd love it even if I could get to like 2000. And then just also as far as my channel go goes, I would love to continue doing two videos per week. When I started doing this mid-September in 2019, I started doing like a, just like a normal video, like this kind of video for Mondays and then vlogs for Thursdays. So I'd love it if I could keep up with that schedule, except for like, of course, during finals week. I want to give myself permission to, you know, take it easy if I need to. So yeah, those are my reading and channel goals. So it's not like a whole lot because I consider like this stuff my hobby. So I don't want to be like too hard on myself with it because I'm already really hard on myself in like other areas of my life. So if I'm hard on myself with my hobbies too, it's just like, not fun for me so yeah so with that being said moving on to my like on my computer list that i made <laughs> i called it my adulting slash other goals so yeah moving on to those the first few are like school related so i'm in my second semester of graduate school last semester i made all a's in my First semester of graduate school so I'd love it if I could continue making all A's this year throughout graduate school just because I'm interested in doing PhD programs and it makes me look even more competitive if I have a really high GPA so I definitely want to shoot for that if I can but I also don't want to like get too focused on that and then like make myself sick and miserable because that's also something I tend to do I want to make all A's but also not necessarily get 100s and everything because that's when I start not having time for other things and then that's when I start feeling bad. The next one is that I want to apply to PhD programs. When I was finishing my undergraduate degree, I was planning on doing a PhD program, but then I wasn't sure like if that was the direction I wanted to go, so I decided to do a master's program to kind of like ease into it more, I guess. And so now that I'm in my master's program, I definitely feel like like for the career I want I would need a PhD and that I am actually like I would actually be able to do it because I was having a lot of self-doubt earlier so a PhD is kind of like one of my life goals right now and so if I apply to start in fall of 2021 then the applications would be due December like early December late November of this year so yeah I definitely want to do that or work on doing that this year 
and I've already started making a list of the schools so that's really helpful and it helps me focus on like one step at a time because if I think about like the whole application process and the whole like the whole PhD right now then I get a little bit overwhelmed so I'm just focusing right now on making my list and also I can make a video on like taking small steps towards achieving your goals so maybe that's something something else this is just something I I literally just added to this list because I'm not sure um, if I'll do it or not but it's something for me to keep in mind to maybe do um, and that is to submit a manuscript to a journal for like publication of some of my academic work or like with my thesis like if there are any projects related to that that I can do something to get a publication or like just some, some kind of like academic publication to put on my CV for applications for PhD and everything. Yeah, so that's all those school ones and then I also wanted to eat more at home and this is one of those more general ones because I don't want to say like I don't want to eat at home every day except for like eat out one time a week because I know that like I'll get overwhelmed and not do that okay so like I hate cooking also if you can hear my um, dryer in the background sorry but that's okay yeah I hate cooking so I eat out a ton and it's just like I usually choose healthier options so it's not even like necessarily a matter of health for me right now it's like more of a budgeting thing and I definitely want to be able to eat at home more and I don't have like a specific number of days that I want to eat at home more I just want to try to do that more like in general and related to that I also have a savings goal so like I'm horrible, horrible at saving money, and I definitely want to get better at that, but it's like really hard. And so my savings goal, like I don't necessarily want to save the exact dollar amount on here, but I do have like an exact dollar amount that I want to get to. I also, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a runner, so I run like five days a week usually and i think the most i've ever run at one time was like seven like somewhere between seven and eight miles but i would really love by the end of the year to be able to run 10 miles at once i just have two more general ones and they're kind of just like i guess kind of mental health related so um something i um i feel like i got a lot better at last semester was balancing and balancing school life work having a social life having hobbies and that kind of stuff because like in undergrad I would constantly just be working and never have time for like socializing or hobbies besides like exercising so I did a lot better that last semester so I'd love to continue doing that and then like also I got better at listening to myself and like what I would like what I needed to feel better I guess so like I have struggled a lot in the past with like anxiety and depression and different things help me with different moods even if they're both like under the broad umbrella of like anxious or depressed there's still like different subcategories i guess underneath those that i feel and like learning how to like what i need to do in that moment to help me feel better like sometimes i need to go on a run sometimes i need to journal or like write affirmations sometimes i need to hang out with a friend sometimes i just need to have like a <laughs> really chill day and not do anything and sometimes I just need to be like productive and get a lot of work done so also continuing to like listen to myself and doing what I need to do to stay in a good place and lastly something that's also more general is to just not beat myself up as much with like eating because I have a tendency or I've been having a tendency the past like since probably the middle of the year last year ish to feel like really guilty after I eat anything it doesn't matter like what it is or how much it is but like just to feel guilty after I eat which I definitely don't need to because for one thing everybody needs to eat and for another thing like I also exercise a lot which you don't have to like exercise to or earn eating or anything like that but like it's just not something that I need to be, to beat myself up so much about so yeah I want to get better 
about that and I'm not really sure the steps I'm going to take quite yet but I do have a counselor who is helping me and like friends and stuff. I'm sure there are more goals that I could think of that I would be like oh yeah I would love to do that but I didn't want to like make this list like too long and those are really the things that I want to focus on this year so yeah that's it for my goals and let me know what your goals are if you have like different like if you have like reading goals channel goals um school goals if you're a student um, work goals if you're not or like parenting goals if you're a parent anything just let me know what your goals are and and hopefully we can like motivate each other to continue pursuing our goals and yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye